Instagram. Anyways, so I'm back, back at a back, 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 with another fucking video. So today, this whole day, I've been cursing, like cursing bad, like fuck, 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 bad, like back to back to back. So I need to chill. I need to chill. Diablo, bitch. Oh, you see, I'm just like cursing out of control today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I come back from Boston, don't know how to act. I'm acting crazy. I'm gonna be sweating on this, honestly. See. Anyways, so today I'm gonna be talking about. I was gonna make it like relationship advice because most of like the people that I asked to like give me questions gave me questions on like relationships. And if you got more questions, Write it down in the comment section. I will get to them. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, I have to write them down because... Because, mind your business. Vamos a tapar los Pringles first. I was much more these earlier. Not gonna lie, this was like my breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's funny because the first, like, the first few questions, I was asking my friend for it, and she was like, like in her bag, like depressed, bro. Anyways, the first question is, how do I know he really loves me? Let me break it down for you, sis. So. If he's like all about you, he's trying to spend time with you, and like he makes shit about you, then he makes it about him. That's how you know, like this nigga, like he really got me. He really got me the way he like. So I guess that's like how you know he really loves you when he's like all about you. You're his everything. He's always thinking about you, and like even when it's not about you, he makes it about you. Yeah, I guess. So, how do I know I'm the only one? Listen, sis. You never know when you're the only one. This is why you gotta dead ass ask him. Yeah, because honestly, and he's probably gonna lie. If you're not, he's probably gonna lie. But if you are, he's probably gonna lie to me. I'm capping. If you are, then you probably know if he's telling the truth. Because, like, it's genuine you like could tell when something's genuine or when something's like played off well not if you're texting but like if you're face to face and you're asking him this like am i the only one then you'll know if he's genuine or he's not genuine three what to do if he's a virgin sis there's nothing to do like now this is one thing like that's mad corny if you dub a nigga um a guy or a female because they're a virgin like you was a virgin once. Tu no naciste like. Tu no naciste not a virgin. So it makes no sense why you wouldn't fuck with a virgin if you were once a virgin. But that's just me. For what do I do if he wants to meet my parents? My, what is there to do? Like. Not gonna let him meet your parents. I mean, unless it's like a really like big reason why you don't want him to meet your parents. Like, like, okay, so in Dominican households, they're racist as fuck. And we're, like, we come, like, an African background, too. So, which is why I don't understand why we're so racist. Well, not, not me in particular, you know, I'm talking about my, my family or whatever, or, like, what I've observed over the past few years. Um, like, if you have, like, a dark friend and you bring him around, like, oh... Why you why are you always hanging out with dark with dark people like with black with black people and like 
you're Dominican and your um your boyfriend is black, then I guess like you know they will obviously have something to say. But if you really like that person, then let him in your parents. And if your parents don't like him, then like if you grown enough to decide whether or not you're gonna keep a boyfriend, then don't just drop him because your parents don't like him like because a lot of the times your parents want the best for you but sometimes they don't really know what's best for you so and plus the heart wants what it wants like if you have a guy or a boyfriend and your parents don't like him listen sis i'm not telling you to disobey your parents but you're gonna find you, one way or another, you're gonna find your way to him. So, how to slow things down when it's going too fast? Slow down, slow down. I mean, um, to be honest, I feel like communication. If you feel like you're both going fast, then like talk and like you know, say like I feel like we need to take things slower because it's going too fast and. I feel like going too fast is, like, never good. Because, like, you're rushing it. You're forcing it. You're doing the most. So, it's like, you know. But if it's just, like, him or her that's, like, you know, rushing it, then you still, communication. Communication is key, bro. It's key. So, if you don't have communication, you can't open that door, baby girl. You can't do that. So... Six, what to do if you're in an abusive relationship? Ma, ma. Walk out. Bye. Like, say goodbye. What do you... Nah, it's... It's not even that easy. Like, I'm trying. You need to tell somebody. Get help. Like... I'm not that the first Nah, but for real, get help because you can't you can't do that to yourself. You're constantly like hurting or whatever, and it's not it's not okay. It's not fair to you. Um, what to do when you're stuck in the middle between friends and a boyfriend? doing them all anyways back to what i was saying before i was really interrupted by my grandmother um oh the question what to do when you're stuck in between friend and boyfriend uh -huh. if they both put you in the middle then they're not thinking about you that's one they're not thinking about you they're being mad selfish so you need space from both of them from your friend and your boyfriend because if they can learn to accept their role in your life, then they shouldn't be in it. So, if they care about you, then they will get it together. Okay. How to tell a guy you aren't interested? Bro, when I tell you, I've made up so many excuses to tell a guy I don't want to fuck with him. But, like, the honest way is the best way. Like, just tell him you're not interested. Or you found somebody else that you want to talk to. Because if you keep making up excuses, it's just going to drag out. It's going to drag out, drag out. And you're never going to get rid of the nigga. So, just tell him the truth and... Yeah. Um, what does it mean when a guy isn't giving you as much attention? He doesn't want you. I'm like, that's it. Either he doesn't want you, he's busy, or he got something going on. The only three that I could think of. Yeah. Another thing. Because honestly, if you're 
if you're feeling a girl or a guy OD, you're going to want to text that person all the time, all day, every day. So if the person isn't texting you, they don't want to talk to you because that's like honestly the only the realest explanation to be honest or like they're going through something so you gotta give them space but if they don't communicate that with you then you have the right to like think not the worst you could think the worst but you have the right to think whatever you want because they're not explaining to you like you know i'm going through some things i can't really be texting you like that they're not telling you so is it bad if you're loving somebody in the first few months? I was joking around with my friend and I saw him yell. But I don't think it's bad. Like, honestly, I don't think it's bad. I, do, I feel like it's bad when, like, you're playing out the word love. A lot of, like, grown people be like, oh, those kids, like, they don't know what love is. But you can experience love at a, like, young age. It's just people call lust love and get them confused constantly and they're like not the same at all so if you know the definition of love then i guess and if like you really care for this person then i don't feel like it's it's bad because you love the person how to unattach myself from somebody I don't even know what to to that question, like, how to unattach myself. Stop. Oh, yes, I do. Delete anything that reminds you of this kid. One. Two. All the pictures, gone. Tell your friends to respect your decision. You don't want to hear about the kid, so you're not going to mention the kid. That's it. Because if you keep reminding yourself of what you had with this person, you're never going to get rid of him. Never. Because he's always going to be in your head. He's always constantly being mentioned, being brought up. So you're never going to forget if, like, he's there. So I guess, like, stop thinking about him. Stop reminiscing. The conversations don't read them. I bro, like personally, I do this shit to myself. Like, I go back and read all the time. No, delete them. Ja, that's it. Finito. We're done. Basura. Goodbye. That's it. How to tell my significant other I'm not ready for sex? Communication. Again, if you don't set him down, if he's like always rushing you and like. He wants to get you in bed. He don't want to do nothing else but that. Then you need to like. Ale have that because. He's not respecting your decision. If you want to wait. You need to sit him down and tell him like listen. I don't like if you're rushing me. I don't think you should rush me because. It's your body. You do what you want with your body. So you're not gonna jump off a bridge every time you to jump off a bridge because it's your body. So you jump off a bridge when you want to, not when he wants to. Any um, how to bounce back from a long relationship? I mean, it's the same thing with the how to unattach myself. Stop, don't think about him. Stop reminiscing. Don't get in bed with a whole thing of fucking ice cream because you're gonna feel bad for yourself you're gonna feel sorry for yourself and if you keep like thinking you're the victim you're gonna continue to feel like the victim so just don't think at all it's like now but like yeah stop thinking about him or her the more you think about that person the more you're gonna miss that person the more you're gonna miss what you had with that person now if you don't think about it then you're not gonna miss it and it's okay to miss the person because you've been with this person for like, I guess, a long time since a long relationship. So it's okay to miss the person, but if you're trying to move on, then you gotta do right by yourself, by forgetting the kid. Not even forgetting, like, 
It could, he could still be your friend, but I feel like there will always be, like, if he's your friend, there will always be some type of, you know, connection to bring each other back. So, maybe your friend isn't the best choice, but... I mean, how to better a long-distance relationship? Girl, no. Bye. We don't do long distance. We don't do that. Because, one, that's horrible. Two, if you're my man, I want to see you constantly. Or not constantly, but I want to see you. So, no. And FaceTime does not count. I mean, it counts, but no, not really. Because I'm not touching you. I'm not confessing you. I'm not flooding you. I'm not nothing. I'm not hugging you. I'm not kissing you. It's, it's quiet. It's not the same. So, I feel like... I, I'm not saying that it doesn't work out. Because there are some happy endings. But... Long distance is just not my cup of tea. Um, 15. What to do if my partner isn't understanding of my curfew? If you tell this person that, like, you know, you gotta be home by, like, 9, 10, and this person is, like, always wanna get you out, you be wanting to stay out mad long, then maintain like all right i understand you like this person or you have a relationship with this person but you need to understand that what you and him got can't ruin what you have at home so your relationship with your mom and your dad and the relationship you have with your boyfriend or your girlfriend like if you bring them to and it's just collateral damage like all falls down because remember your parents are your parents so if they say you got to be home at a certain time and they know you are with fulanito they're gonna know not to trust fulanito so tell him you need to be home by this this and that time and if you don't understand get yourself a cab and make your way home that's like the only thing i could tell you because honestly, what else? Like, if he's not understanding, he's not understanding. And, like, if you can't talk him into understanding, he's not going to get it. So. 16, what to do when your boyfriend has a child? Girl. Then he has a child. Like, if you really like him, then accept him with all his flaws and, and perfect perfection. Tell me. If... Nah, for real though. Like, if it comes to a point where like, where you like a guy that has a kid, you need to be understanding of him and his like past decisions or like, um, past that's present. Because what do you want to do? Kill the kid? No, the fuck. So, no hay más que hacer que entenderlo, like just understand and if you don't understand then you shouldn't be in a relationship with a guy who has a baby because it's not your cup of tea by the way what to do when i'm in love with my friend Anyways, let me repeat the question for those in the back that they're not here. What to do when I'm in love with my friend? You need to understand that this friend is may not be accepting of this, like, newfound, you know, feelings towards this friend of yours. So, and you need to think of, like, all possibilities. So... One, the person could either like you back and it's a fairy tale happily ever after. Or two, like you back and end up in a bad relationship. And then your friendship is just... Or three, the person may not like you back. So you need to think about all of those before you actually confront this person and tell them like, you know, hey, I've been like feeling some type of way about you. And I want to act on it finally. But if that doesn't work out, then I'm not going to say it's not meant to be, but it's not the right time. 
therefore you continue to be friends with this person because if being in a relationship doesn't work out with this person then being a friend is honestly the closest thing to it you don't want this person just to like not be in your life because then you like how to tell your boyfriend you're bi girl tell him like well boyfriend or girlfriend that you're bi tell him and they may not like accept it or like understand so that's when you yeah because if you're bi then you're bi the fuck how somebody's gonna change the fact that you're bi and you being bi doesn't necessarily mean that like the relationship is just gonna like not work that's not what it means it just means you don't just like girls or boys you like both so i know a lot of people be like be getting in the feelings because of that shit like there is no need to get in your feelings because the person is bi or the person that you're with is bi what does it mean when i buy him things and he doesn't buy me anything what else what else is there to say he's broke mama what are you gonna do find him a job nah cow let me read that question again because i wrote that shit mad fast what does it mean when i buy him things and he doesn't buy me anything clearly nah not clearly one either he doesn't think you're important enough to waste money on you two maybe he's saving up for something or like he just doesn't have money so he can't get you things three He's not fucking with you. He don't. He got an, another girl. He not fucking with you. He don't want to buy you things. Or maybe he's a choppy. He's trying to bankrupt you. Or a girl. Mostly girls are choppies. In my opinion. How to break up with your boyfriend after two years. Yo. Yo, these questions, bro. They went. I'm not Dr. Phil. Um, tell him how you honestly feel. If you feel like it's not the same as before, then. But like two years is a long time. So it's like if you say you want to break up, make sure that's what you actually want. Don't just like say you want to break up and then like a couple months later you like come back. No. If you want to better your relationship, you say you want to better your relationship. If you want to break up with that person, then say you want to break up with that person. Don't give that person mixed emotions. Because that person, you may not know what the person is going through. Like, two years is a long time. Two years is a long time. So, make sure that's what you want. And if it is what you want, then tell him, like, you know... And give him a reason. You need to have a valid reason to break up with a boyfriend or a girlfriend after two years. Yeah. Like, one, what to expect when you're not expecting? Bro, what? Like, nothing. The fuck? If you're not expecting anything, what you gonna expect? Nothing. Yo, I swear to God. Oh my God, bro. My friends is just retarded. 22 this is the last question because i'm done this video but this video is about to be mad long first of all i'm gonna have to i od my best friend's boyfriend girl <laughs> if you like your best friend's boyfriend first of all that is not your best friend because you will never even put yourself in the like situation or like in the position to even think of like your best friend's boyfriend being attractive like okay he could be cute or ugly or whatever he may be but in like the sense that he's like something that you want for yourself uh that is not your best friend yo i keep itching my nose because of my i have allergies so if you see me going like this my this right here not fucking with me at all so Again, what to do if I like my best friend's boyfriend? I feel like you should tell her. To be honest. Tell her. Tell her how you feel. 
and that's not your best friend. If you tell her how you feel, th- bro, a hundred put not even a hundred. Let me not say that because. Um, most likely, the person is not going to be your friend anymore. Unless she, like, never really liked him, or he never really liked her, and then he might pass you on to her, or him. So, I guess y'all could still be friends after that. But if that's not the case, I'm pretty sure you're a dub. And, like, the girl is the girl or guy will not want their significant other around you because... You'll just want to just, like, blur. Anyways. Done with that sh- I've crossed a lot in this video. I need to chill. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see next. And... I'll see y'all next video. Is that okay?